Hey everybody, we're back, and it's time for episode, I think, eight, uh, ooh, pardon me, of Clan Shadow Fox, as we get going here. Now, uh, somebody did tell me not to make a mountain out of a molehill with the max, and, you know, I whine and I bitch and I complain, but, you know, I love this game at the same time, so, uh, and I have a an extreme bias against Clan, because... Uh, I've all, I've always played Inner Sphere, so I know those mechs better than I know the clan mechs, and so the sticker shock kind of kind of threw me off. You know, I, all of the times that I've played thus far, I've always played Inner Inner Sphere, and you can operate very very cheaply with Inner Sphere mechs down at the at the the lower the lower levels. It's just they're cheaper. They're not as versatile. They're not as uh, interesting as the clan mechs. But that's sort of the price that I've had to pay. Now let's check our mechs here. Okay, all the mechs are under construction. So we got to sit here and wait. So as soon as the mechs are ready, we can throw together a mission here. Uh. All right. Let's see here. Uh, uh. Let's take the everybody's happy, okay. There we go. Nothing bad happened. Yay! <laughs> Last thing I needed is uh, something bad to happen. All right. So, A team is out of commission. We've got 16 days to make some more cash. So let's look at what we've got available. Herbicidal air. That's an escort. Uh, uh, why do I have a feeling that this is going to be nothing but herbies? Oh, that. Or that the vehicles that we have to escort would be herbies. That would be really bad. They're offering a lot of money, which makes me really nervous. Uh, all right, let's do this one because this one we can probably do fairly easily. And we can, the price tag is high enough that we can still make some money on it, hopefully, and be able to uh, get a bit more. Uh, parts and salvage. So let's see here. Hurry, you're going to go ahead and pilot the Kit Fox again. Garrison, let's put you in the Hunchback. Put Capricorn in the and then bullet trap, you will fly the incubus. Yeah, I know they're all underweight. That's so horrible. I need to get some weaponry and stuff that allows me to reduce some of the armor just a tad so that I can up the, the firepower on these things. Because that's really what's limiting me is that... Uh, 
my ability to reach out and touch someone, as it were, is somewhat limited. And if I could get uh, a little bit of a little bit of some boost on that, then we could maybe play a little bit more SmackDown. I like that they give you options for how you're going to damage your enemies when you do melee. So I, I mean, I really love that they are constantly improving this game. Command interface initiated. Okay, and he's going to be over there. Let's see about dropping here, too far, here, too far, here, okay. All right, so I have to remember I have to remember to turn the ECM on. Let's go ahead and start picking on this guy here since he's really, oh, no. Nope. Now, hurry, turn on your ECM. And also move up. Okay, it looks kind of like he's got ECM or something going, or he's got like initial super high in evasion all right don't give them room to shoot at two of us at the same time Get our third thing of ECM active. Okay, so ECM active. And then And still nothing on him. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Depends on how you qualify minor. Okay, that was no fun. All right, let's get in here and start railing on these guys. 
and make them unhappy to be jammed. Alright, start with you. Bother with the lasers, just give them a little missile love. Okay, get right in here where you've got the most ECM coverage since you just got pounded. Now let's try to take this guy out. Let's try and focus our fire here. I kind of wish this me this uh, hunchback were more mobile. I'm so used to my uh, my freaking uh, stealth that was just that thing zipped around the battlefield like crazy. This thing is definitely not a stealth. Ugh, even with the ECM on. <gasps> no, bad. Stop hurting. That's right. Eat it. Come on, reserve him. All right, let's pull you back. Uh, I don't like that position. There, that'll do. Pull you back furthest away from all of the others. And you need to get dunked on. I oh, didn't, th didn't think I'd come and get you over there, did you? Keep on moving up. Unload with whatever you got. Oh, come on. Give me a freaking break. You want some of this? Let's go. Is that uh, mineral field? Uh, 
That's right. Remember me? You son of a butt munch. Get on in there. I don't care. We'll take the risk. Ow! Yeah, that hurts. That's damage we have to repair. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. So I've noticed that they've made the ECM not nearly as effective. Or at least it feels that way. Let's see what he can do here. That seems like the much better execution of firepower. Boom! Oh wait, shoot, he's got a... He's got to cool off. So. All right, Capricorn. Capper. Let's see, uh, give this guy the lesson he deserves. Oh yeah, he bailed out, nice. Okay. Let's run up this way here, see if we can't get some elevated ground. An urban mech. R100X. Thumper artillery. Don't mind if I do. Primary target damage, Commander. Let's go ahead and get on up and
kick a little bit of ammo out his way. So now it's a matter of can he do see us? Howie, don't hit the kid fox. Sucker going real fast. Get all the guns back on. Keep it going. Oh, got a couple of hits. But we can just keep pelting him f like pretty much non-stop. Don't get, uh, don't get in on him yet. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a little hit and fade here. This should be a lot more fun. There we go. Small laser destroyed. Heavy <sighs> Hunchback is basically useless in this fight. I feel like the Hunchback is the urban, the urban mech's big brother. Oh, stop hitting the expensive max. Please. Those are expensive to fix. There we go. Mm, yes. Nice. All right. Good clean mission, but that did do a lot of damage. 
Oh, that the freaking artillery was not happy. No happy fun times. Oh. Deduct eighteen thousand, deduct ten thousand, deduct <laughs> Gosh, they're just they're nickel and dime in us. Made a hundred and seventy one, which is still a profit. Some unpleasant damage there, which it's gonna be expensive to repair. Okay, a chariot. That's a vehicle. I don't want vehicles, I want mechs. Urban mech. What are you? Uh, artillery variant. Okay, I need the medium lasers. We're kind of needing to replace some of those. So... Uh, All right. FCS Scatterer. Seems like a good investment. Some standard heat sinks would be nice, but I'm hoping I can just get those uh, normally. some Thunderbolt ammo. Ooh, sensors Sniper. Alright. This may not be the most optimal selection but I think it'll do for what I need. Uh, so we're going to go with that and see what's what. Okay. I did get some more heat sinks. I got the sensors basic, which I can sell. The standard cooling units, which I can sell. I'll probably keep like one or two of them on hand. Generic structure. So that's like non endo, I guess. So that's uh, that's not too bad. We can get rid of the support tank because I don't want tanks. Much as those might be cheaper to operate, like I don't know. We, we might end up having to field some some cheaper vehicles. I'd like some max, honestly. But, you know, you take what you can get. Don't complain. Clan Shadow Fox would not exist if we fail. So, so we lose another 52. Ouch. But, on the plus side... We can get some work done. So let's go and let's take the hunchback back from this here. Let's refit this bad boy. All right, so maximum armor. Okay, so she's maxed out, and now I can. I can start by, I've got two more medium lasers that I can put in. So, so let's take two, uh, let's see here, wait, what's the, what's the heat level of these? These generate 11 heat, 9 heat. 8 heat. So 
So yeah, we'll take two of these guys out and we'll replace them with medium lasers. So we're only slightly above weight right now. And we'll get through that by removing one of those. And now we're going to put those heat sinks in. Because we did lose a few heat sinks. Right now we've got 61. So I'm going to put in two more heat sinks. Because we lost two, I think, previously. That reminds me, can I put the 210 in? Okay. 210 will upgrade our general movement speed. Let's, uh, let's drop the small pulse lasers. And that will give us a low alpha strike, but That, that should do there. And now I just need to drop a little bit of armor. In order to make this work. All right, oops, too much. All right, and that'll take nine days to, to cure up. All right, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna pause it here for just a second because I've got something to deal with. All right, so let's, uh, let's organize the tasks here. So we got three days. So let's put you right up at the top and get the rest of it done. That way the other ones will get repaired while that one's getting repaired, getting refit as well. And then we'll be able to have uh, a slightly, slightly faster, slightly more competent uh, hunchback, I think. It's not gonna have as much like up close hammer power, but I needed to get there a little bit sooner. Uh, and that means I need more mobility out of this thing. So let's go ahead and how many days do we have? Everything will be done right before. Oh no, uh, ooh, yeah. So everything will be done right before the timeline is necessary to be paid out. All right, so we have five days. to throw another mission out and let's see what we've got all right so we've just got these two choices we've got an open battle uh, Okay, so that's a straight fight with another lance. Or we can work on this one. I think we're going to have to do this one because a straight fight I think we can do much more easily. How much more salvage can we do? Let's kind of equal this out because another lance against us could be kind of messy. Let's bring out the A-team. 
I'll take back my Mac. Sarge will take up her normal position, and Medusa will take the Kit Fox. And we will deploy. I have a thing against asymmetrical mechs, and I don't know if it's just like an aesthetics thing, but I really do not like mechs with, with really bad asymmetry. And I think that's probably why I have a certain sort of uh, dislike to certain clan mechs. Because the whole asymmetrical arms thing kind of rubs me the wrong way. But I mean, again, it is, it's a, it's a personal preference. I don't know why. I mean, like, I don't mind a bit of asymmetry, but like core, core asymmetry in the design makes me really spastic. Like I just like, nah. uh, <laughs> which is really silly, but you know, it is, it is what it is. All right, let's drop down here. All right, let's, how close can we drop? Too close. All right. Okay. Flash all the uh, the ECMs on, and let's get let's get to moving here. Uh, okay. Terrain wise, we need to go this way. Just run the the right side here, so we don't have any major surprises. Now I'm planning on upgrading the uh, the targeting computers and whatnot as soon as I get a chance. Okay, we've got a mech here. That's our first and a secondary one up there. Those are the first two that we've detected. We'll go ahead and reserve. These guys are working for Diamond Shark, which is unfortunate. How dare you tag me? All right, Sarge. Let's back the hell off because I do not want to get you in the wrong spot here. 32, 8, 16, you're my buddy. Better than one in five. Ah! Don't hit the kit fox! <sighs> Seriously? That kit fox is just like a glutton for punishment. All right. Let's go ahead and blitz on over here. What are you? You're a mist lynx. You're a thorn. And there's a third one there. Who's the third guy? Target 
Oh, oh, yes. None of that. Oh, it's a full star, so they outnumber me. All right, let's get down here and get into the business. You want to damage me, that's fine. I want to return the favor. There we go. Trying to get the hunchback out here to soak up some uh, some hatred. But now the adder is out of reach and not particularly well covered. You can freaking mark me too? Okay. Uh, let's let's try to put some terrain between us and that frickin' PPC launcher. Well, you smarmy little SOB. Get inside the covering arcs of those guys. And now, all right, I'm gonna try and take you. They've got all, all got anti-missile systems. Oh, that's not good. Locust. I I'm gonna have to find whatever program that is that's putting those ads up and slap it down. Hi there. I have been ordered to give you a sound spanking. Not that I actually will do that, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. CM to you. Get up there and ECM the heck out of you guys. Oh, a little bonus damage. Throw, us cra throw enough crap at the walls.
There we go. Somebody that's not protected. Get on up there. Hmm, anything's better than nothing. Keep bringing it up. So this is the kind of thing I can do really easy. This is a, an easy fight. Or that plays to my strengths. He's got a lot of little lasers. Well there, buddy. You done there just stuck your head out the wrong hole. Sayonara. Good night. How is he not fried? Oh yeah, there we go. Lost a lot of stuff on that, but don't care. Get on up in there. There we go. Let's see where he goes. <gasps> Owie! You destroyed another freaking expensive heat sink. Now I have to turn around and brutalize you in the best way that I know how. You are my primary target with these two. So eat it. 
Oh, you're done. You're done, son. Okay, he's not he's not out yet though. But you have earned my ire. How dare you hit the adder from behind? Are you not a clansman? Do you not know the ways of honor? You shall be schooled. You shall learn of honor through glorious death in battle. For death in battle is all that one can expect from his enemies. For the clan! There we go. You have been educated. Now. It is in your best interest to save what soul you can. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't like that. It's going to overheat. There we go. Yet another destroyed. You will get no mercy from us. Mercy is for those who did not violate clan honor. Be obliterated and gone from my sight. Clan has determined that you must die for your crimes. Oops, where are you going? Okay. Be aware of sneaky, sneaky scout mechs getting into your back quarter. You missed. Again, we shall school you in the ways of honorable combat. Much is the lack of your honor. Mm. 
we will rectify this situation momentarily. So his left hand side is the side that is most likely to not enjoy this. So that is the side where I will punch holes into his skull. You have been honorably defeated in honorable combat. Hold the honor with extra honor on the side. Surprise! In the rear quarter. And done! Bye bye is right. <laughs> yeah. But I think this one's gonna cost us. I think I think we're gonna take some significant because the adder got targeted and damaged. We're probably gonna pay significantly higher repair costs. Oh that's that's troubling. So, got to get my math book out here. We're walking away with 277,638, and we're going to see how much comes out of that in repairs. Well, the actual internal damage to the adder is surprisingly very little, except for the loss of that frickin' heat sink, which is gonna hurt. Okay. ER medium clan laser, that would be nice. 20 heat ER PPC would be a little bit better. Standard medium laser, active probe, a clan cockpit. Okay, I don't have any of these. Hmm. Clan standard FCS, which is apparently better than most. Clan double heatsink, just in case to replace the one that I lost. So not a lot of anything really exciting, but I'm going to take that clan ER PPC and see what else uh, comes my way. So we got a part for Miss Lynx and the Pack Hunter 2. Not bad, but maybe I can convert the uh, convert something to use the ERPPCs and have that as a uh, a weapon of choice, as it were. Pardon me. All right, and we got another medium laser that we can slap into the uh, the big boy if we want to. Clan FCS, clan cockpits, another double heatsink. Okay, all in all, a win. Let's see how much, how much that cost us. Okay, things changing factions. 65, so not bad. About a, about a fifth of our earnings. Now, let's go fix it the right way. 
So we'll stop work on the adder, refit it, repair, okay. All right. Not a perfect fix, but I think it works well. There we go. Alright, we're missing... Oh, it didn't replace the double heatsink. Clan double heatsink, please. I do like this thing as an Omni mech. It is very, very nice. And I like the, the appearance. This is one of the clan mechs that I really do like the look of. With that little kind of clamshell over the top there. It looks really neat. Uh, very stylish. And the, the way that the arms are offset so that whatever you, you could basically just like pop this section off and put whatever weapon you want on there, which I think is really awesome. But let's stop nerding out here. Hunchback goes for repairs. Okay. So all in all, not bad. We're doing we're doing good. And we haven't had to sell anything major. It's going to storage. Uh I don't need you. God, I want that. I want that one. The the Grimalkin. Oof. Oh, would love to get that one and or this one. I I, I definitely want uh, a Nova. Uh, but I barely know anything about Clan Max. I just see a fifty ton. Omni mech with a whole bunch of versatility that I could play around with and have a lot of fun with. So that is definitely one of the ones that I want to get my hands on. There we go. All right. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. We're at about a little bit over an hour. Uh, obviously, if you are enjoying the series, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, I do try to respond to everybody that comments uh, to the best of my abilities. If I do miss a comment of yours, I do apologize. But, you know, I will try to give everybody their, their due response. Until next time. Please, if you feel inclined, like and subscribe. It makes me feel good. Uh, it's not a requirement, but as I said, it makes me feel good. So, you know, if, you're, if you would be so kind. And I will catch you on the flip side.